Welcome to Second Opinion, the reviews show here on The Nexus. I am your host, Ian R. Buck, and normally we come out with a new episode with a new review every two weeks, and you may notice that it has been approximately two weeks since our last episode, but we hit a little catch over winter break on my way back from uh, vacation with my family. We were involved in a car accident. We were, we were part of an 11-car pileup. A semi-truck uh, rear-ended us, and uh, I received a concussion. And so I was not in much of a position to throw together a- an episode this week, and I didn't have any stored up for, for rainy days. So we don't have a full normal review ready for today. But, since this is Second Opinion, and our motto here is, if you can experience it, we can review it, uh, I, I will review the experience of having a concussion for you. So, if you would like to see the show notes for this episode, be sure to go to thenexus.tv slash SO35. Now, to start at the beginning, I would say that the experience of of having a concussion, they really need to remove a few pain points from it, if you get my meaning. Uh, Right from the beginning, like, the, the act of getting a concussion is not a pleasant one. You have to, you know, get hit in the head pretty hard with something. Uh, there's a few different ways to do that. You could, you know, be involved in some sort of contact sport like football or, or rugby or whatever. Um, or you could be in a, yeah, car accident like I was. In my case, for the car accident one, uh, this definitely makes me look forward to the future when we have self-driven cars everywhere and we don't have to rely on these faulty humans uh, to... to be in control of these monstrously large uh, machines that go ridiculously fast. Um, If you want to hear more thoughts on the future of transportation, we have an entire episode of The Extra Dimension where we talk about uh, the future where we will have uh, all self-driven cars and nobody will own any cars and it'll be awesome. Now, once you have a concussion, they tell you that you shouldn't do a whole lot of things for about 10 days after after you get your concussion. Um, And the list of things that you're not supposed to do, unfortunately, lines up almost perfectly with the things that I like to do in my life. Uh, (laughs) The number one thing is don't look at screens. Oh, oh boy. That's going to be tough. Another thing that they tell you not to do is anything that requires, like, concentration for a long period of time. So anything that is, like, mentally stimulating, mentally taxing. And as you may know about me, uh, yeah, I, I... tend to enjoy intellectually stimulating activities and so not being able to do any of those like even if it doesn't involve a screen even if it's just like reading a book or listening to a podcast or something like that right I shouldn't be doing that for very long uh, either with my concussion any like physical activities that you do are going to wear you out a lot faster and especially if you know it involves like jostling your head around a lot that's going to like wear you out immediately you're not going to want to do that so the the like big takeaway here is that I've been taking a lot of naps over the last week uh I I sleep a lot during the day I I get maybe you know like an hour's worth of activity done and then uh and then I get tired and I have to go back to bed which is like, yeah, I, I haven't definitely haven't been able to go to work. I haven't been able to edit any podcasts or, or do any prep work for any episodes or anything like that. Uh, it's been a it's been a pretty big bummer. Um, I've been kind of bored out of my wits. Now, the upside to all of this, in my case, is that I have some wonderful housemates who have been taking care of me over the over this week, and so I haven't had to worry too much about you know doing a lot of the tasks that I normally would have to do and even even those few like household chores that are normally mine that you know that it's just been too much for for my housemates to pick up the slack on luckily having a uh, concussion has also resulted in me just kind of like eh, not really caring as much that that you know not as many things are getting done so that is one plus side for for the concussion 
the final thing that uh, you'll definitely notice if you have a concussion is that it's going to affect your memory in a, some pretty big, profound ways. In my case, I think one of the best examples was, well, the the day of the crash when I was brought to the uh, uh, the ER, I had no memory of, of the car accident at all, um, which is probably good because uh, I, I take it that that's a pretty traumatic experience and, and I'd rather not remember it happening. But also, like, while I was at the hospital... I I was surrounded by all of these doctors and nurses who I didn't know. My my entire family was at like a different hospital, and and so I I had a really hard time remembering what was going on. Uh, I kept asking people like, "What time is it? What day is it?" Because I I had a very very poor sense of time. I kept kind of setting myself a mental task of trying to remember everybody's names as they came through my room and, and, you know, like interacted with me. And, uh, it was pretty hit or miss. And even like several days later, at one point during an, during the evening, I pulled a set of keys out of my pocket and announced to everybody in the room, Hey, these aren't my keys. Whose are they? And my brother chimed up. He's like, Oh yeah, those are mine. And hand them over. And I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, I don't know how those got in my pocket. I do remember a few times throughout the day where I would like stick my hand in my pocket, find those keys, think to myself, hmm, those aren't my keys. And then I wouldn't do anything about it, which is kind of like, like now that, now that I'm thinking about it, that's a really silly thing to do to just be like, huh, whatever keys. But like, that's, that's where my mind was at at the time. So yeah, you'll you'll notice a lot of uh, really weird things like that going on uh, with your brain, and apparently, yeah, you have to wait for like ten days at least to before you you know can um, even start to think about like going back to a normal routine. Uh, my my sleep schedule is all out of whack right now, so we'll see when I. When I can go back to work, I'm I'm got a doctor's appointment tomorrow to get evaluated and find out exactly you know when I should be going back to work. So let's hope that that uh, can happen sooner or later because I've got quite a few students you know who like have their final projects that they should be starting, but they it's kind of hard for them to start them until I can actually give them feedback on the pro the the subjects that they're choosing for their projects and you know yeah. So overall. Concussions. If you can avoid getting them, I would avoid getting them. They're not that much fun. They're, they're yeah, the, the, the hype is not real. Uh, <laughs> and, and I would also avoid supporting activities that can give other people concussions, you know? I mean, I, I guess it's, that's easy for me to say because I've never really enjoyed football. But, like, you know, maybe we shouldn't be promoting a sport that uh, is, you know, going to affect people's brains in such a profound way. So that's all I have to say about uh, about concussions. Thanks for listening, everybody, to this episode of Second Opinion. If you want to hear other more legitimate reviews of, of actual interesting tech things that, uh, that you might want to uh, buy or experience or interact with, uh, go and listen to some other um, episodes of this show. And uh, if you want to find me on the inter- internet, my name is Ian R. Buck. You can find me on Twitter as Ian R. Buck, or you can look on ianrbuck.com for links to other stuff that I make. This show is a production of The Nexus TV. You can find us on Twitter as The Nexus TV, and you can give us feedback on this episode and all of our other shows at thenexustv at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Have a good one.